Mobile played host tonight to one of our state's biggest rivalries, the USA Jags taking on the Troy Trojans in the battle for the belt. South Alabama went into the game ranked one in the Sun Belt Conference Western Division. This is South Alabama's second game in a row to be shown on national TV. NBC 15's Karis Harmon joins us live from South Alabama. Karis, it was a tough game and Troy ended up winning by less than a touchdown. Yeah, they did. Troy actually won 10 to 6, and although it wasn't the outcome that the Jags hoped for, fans tell me they're still proud of their team. The day started off early for South Alabama fans. Go Jags! Jags up! Go Jags! Go Jags! Tailgating began at 8 o'clock this morning, and fans from across the country headed to the campus, tailgating and preparing to cheer on the Jags. With a parade from the athletes led by the band and South Alabama's mascots, Miss Paula and Southpaw. Just before the game started, I ran into South Alabama President Joe Bonner. He says he's proud of his team. This is what it's all about. We got thousands of people, we're gonna have 25,000 people packing Hancock Whitney Stadium. And even if you can't get out to the game, it's community spirit. The battle for the belt was the first time in the school's history where they completely sold out of tickets. Senior at South, Brittany Foreman, tells me this is her last rivalry game, but she tells me South Alabama is a football school. They have really upgraded their season throughout the whole year that I have been here since like freshman year, so we really think they're going to pull through. Senior at South, Julian Hall, tells me this is the most school spirit he's seen in all four years, and the school is finally getting the recognition it deserves. I feel like the better the, the team does and the better the coach does with coaching the team, um, the more success we have, I think that it's going to bring more recruits here and put South on the map and Mobile as a whole. Vanya Williams is a senior at South and she's from Mobile. She tells me South Alabama is still Mobile's team regardless of the outcome. I feel like South has potential to be as big as Alabama, Auburn and schools like that. So I'm very, very, very proud of the boys this season. All they've accomplished, all that they have bought to the school. The school spirit that they bought out because I've never seen the stadium impact and we've had it for three years. Next week will be the Jags' third game in a row that will be shown on national TV, and they'll be taking on Arkansas State. I'm live in Mobile, Karis Harmon, NBC 15 News.